The opening hours of Red Dead 2 do a pretty good job explaining the basics of what you need to know to survive in the Old West, but things can get a little overwhelming once the full world opens up. To help you get started on the right track, here are 8 things you should do first in Red Dead Redemption 2. While the first few hours are more about introducing you to the characters and mechanics of the game, there are a few things you should know before taking control of Old Arthur. First, don't try to leave your first camp. The weather outside your shelter in Coulter is way too harsh to survive it. Money is a resource that you'll desperately need early on, and the best way to get it is to loot every single enemy you run into during these opening missions. Your horizons will broaden considerably once you reach the full open world, but for now, this is your best option. Once you start Chapter 2, you're free to go almost anywhere in the open world. Your adventures may take you back up into the mountains, so you'll want to make sure that you have some warm weather gear with you. You can throw a spare set of clothes, or two or three, into your saddlebag by going to your camp and interacting with the footlocker in your tent. Pick out an outfit or clothes that will keep you warm and select store outfit on horse. When you're out in the world, you can change your clothes from the horse menu. Once you've bonded a bit with your horse, consider leaving it in a stable and purchasing, or acquiring, another faithful steed. It's helpful to have at least two on hand so you won't have to start a brand new bond in the event of an... accident. <laughs> Once you've explored around Valentine a bit, you'll want to start adding gear to your arsenal. You'll notice that most weapons are locked off from purchasing in the gunsmith's catalog. That's because you've got to find these weapons out in the world before you can purchase them. The best way to get some powerful new hardware early on is by robbing homesteads or backroom businesses run by other gangs. You can find these businesses by exploring town and keeping an eye out for any strange goings on. The first one you'll find is at the doctor's office in Valentine. Peer through the back window or eavesdrop on the back door to unlock the activity, and grab the Schofield revolver off the table before the law shows up to ruin your good time. Homesteads are similar activities you can get tipped off to or find on your own, where a local gang or group of crazies have holed up in a house. You can find one across the river to the north of Valentine to unlock the pump-action shotgun. If you're up for a bit of a ride after unlocking the fence with Hosea, head northwest from the Valentine area to the town of Strawberry. At the western foot of Mount Shang, you'll find the territory of a legendary buck. Hunt it down and bring its antler back to the fence, and you can craft the buck antler trinket. This will improve the quality of all the pelts that you skin while you're hunting, making it way easier to craft upgrades and new items. Speaking of our off-the-books merchant pal, when you first get to explore the open world, be sure to take a ride to the burned-out village of Limpany, just to the southeast of Horseshoe Overlook. Head into the ruined sheriff's office, then pull the lockbox out from under the desk to find a gold bar worth $500. You won't be able to sell it until you unlock the fence, but hey, free money. You're gonna need it too, plus another 50 or so, to purchase two important upgrades for your camp. First, Dutch's tent, which might not seem like a big deal, but getting that lets you upgrade Arthur's tent, which unlocks fast travel from your base camp to any town you've already visited. If fast travel isn't really your speed and you'd rather explore the world for yourself, keep an eye out for other less fortunate travelers along the way. Please help me! Many, like this poor sap who got himself bit by a snake, might be so grateful for your help that they'll tell you the location of one of those homesteads or back rooms from earlier, or even treat you to an item of your choice from a local shop the next time they see you in town. You ain't been through in a while. Hopefully taking care of those things will help you on your adventure through Red Dead Redemption 2. For more tips on Rockstar's wildest western, we can show you 15 things that it doesn't tell you, and of course, how cheats work now in Red Dead 2. For everything else, you're already in the right place here at IGN.